Oh, man, let the media tell it. We in line to get every freaking quarterback that's available, and we ain't got no money. Two and two don't add up, man. Let me know what y'all think. Yo, that. A G L E S. Say fly equals fly. Fly equals fly. Fly equals fly. <laughs>
the organization is not in the best interest, the Green Bay organization, is not in the best interest of the quarterback. And that's always going to be a fallout. We just seen it with our own two eyes. We seen it in Carson Wentz and Howie Roseman. When an organization and your star player do not get along, it's nothing, it's nothing but bad blood. So you got a guy that organization has not invested in him. Had he got running backs, offensive line is okay, yeah. But we're talking about at the skill position of wide receiver. It's just that they picking, but they've been hitting. They hit more than the Philadelphia Eagles. So even though Carson Wentz has thrown to a Nelson Aguilar, he ain't nowhere near better than the Adams. You know what I mean? That was the first, uh, I think, the only uh, wide receiver that Carson Wentz thrown to that was in the first round. But it's still one more than and Mr. Aaron Rodgers. I just don't. I, I don't see Aaron Rodgers coming over here because you can't pay him. You can't pay him unless you're going to give up all them Jones and ask them and ask Green Bay to pay a third, uh, 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 um, two thirds of his contract. You ain't got no money, man. That's the only, this is the only problem why I'm going to say hell no to the no, no, no. You got the picks. Even though I wouldn't go all three in the first round, you do got the picks. Now let's get into something else real fast, man. Um, you got to get a corner. And I've been saying Steven Nelson uh, for a minute, but you got to get a corner. You didn't get one in the draft. You got to get a CB2. You have to get a CB2. I'm going to go more in depth on this um, within the next week or so. But two other candidates that I got other than Steven Nelson is Richard Sherman's and, and, uh, and, and uh, Xavier Rhodes. Now, if those two are gone, then let me know in the comments, but I haven't seen anything on them. But just off the top of my head, those two, three guys right there, you should be able to pull off one. And I know, I know what I just said. We ain't got no money, yada, yada, yada. But you can finagle something to uh, to get one of these veteran guys and get them two, two, three million rather than trying to pay Aaron Rodgers, uh, what, 20? So... I ain't gonna lie to you, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. Like, you gotta get a CB2 yesterday. You got to. You can't go into the 2021 season with Avante Maddox again at your outside corner. And there's no knock on the guy. Y'all know how I feel about the dude. Y'all know I think he is very talented. He is just not tall enough. He's gonna get mossed every single day as we seen last year. So, in my perspective, you got to get a guy with some height and also with technique skills. You know what I mean? And if you can find a way to, 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 to get in Rose Nelson or um, or Sherman, I'm cool with that. Um, probably Sherman be third on my list, then Rhodes. Them two kind of, I don't know. But Sherman definitely has lost a step. He been getting torched. You know what I mean? Um, but you, when you got Slay over there, you can get safety help. He can get some safety help, and hopefully that'll pan out. But Nelson, I don't think, needs safety help, especially if he's going to go against the number two guy every single week because you got Slay going against the number one, obviously. So that should be able to help him. You know what I mean? But I ain't going to lie to y'all. I don't think Aaron Rodgers is coming to Philadelphia Eagles, so... They just need to, the media just needs to stop it. And number two, you need a CB2, like yesterday. And those three guys that I named, I think, should be in your end of discussion. Let me know what y'all think in the comments, man. Y'all already know. Stay Philly, stay fresh, y'all. Yo, that.